So the electrics for the tow bar goes here. And the cables go through here. And then this part. So this is the 13 pole connection for a trailer. You can remove this inner part from this. Trying to do this with one hand. Of course it doesn't go easy. So You just stuck it in and make sure that, uh, that this little face goes here. On the other side, you just screw them in place, different connections. Pretty optima optimal. It's better than a seven pole according to some sources. This is the cable that goes to the, the outlet underneath. So I will try to push it down in one of these uh, plastic holes. And then we have the, the left side. and the right side so this one is going to that that direction try to try to pick up the connections here and we have the the backing light here so i have removed the panel get access to the, that place yeah so the cable has been run through and uh, you can see it going through there and now I have to color match this cable according to the manual BK slash WH means black and white that means this one and that one goes to number one on this perhaps you can't see it but it's the number one there yeah every wire is connected except number 12 which has an NO on this on my manual so and we don't have a cable for it it's uh, supposed to be uh, some kind of identification for a trailer by you connect this 12 to number 3 number 3 is a minus for pin 1 to 8 so time to mount it I'll get back to you when I get it on place. You just screw the cables in, follow the guidelines. Which one goes to which number? It has inscription number here. 1 to 13. Yeah. Final step before mounting it on place. Put the rubber gasket here. And... Uh, then I will just mount it up here with some uh, bolts and uh, and some uh, I don't know what you call this blankets sheets I don't know get back to you and mounting it in place
Yeah, I usually hold here, but can't do everything if you only have one hand and the other one is filming. And uh, there you have it. It's mounted. Yeah. Now we just we just have to connect the the electrics inside the car to the tail lights and so on. Putting on a relay for the for the parking light and so on. So this will feed uh, the the trailer caravan with the constant charging volt. It's one of the benefits of the 13 pole. Yeah, bit tight, a bit tight, but uh, will work. This is where you put the safety wire for the trailer. If for some reason the trailer disconnects here, then you have a wire which pull the brakes on the caravan. Yeah, that's the thought. As a last final catch, I put some grease on the, the bolts. This will uh, protect them from the harsh environment that is under the car. And uh, it will be easier to get these bolts and nuts off if I would have to, to do that. Since it might be something wrong with it. I haven't tested it yet and I might have to check that I put everything in the right place so that's well I think this will be watertight at least and uh, that's the main thing yep now I have to grease off my finger so I can turn this off